Hello guys, it is Daniel here again and today I would like to show you the similarities and the differences between F1 2016 and F1 2017 Ultra Graphics settings. There has been three official videos released from Codemasters, I downloaded them and in F1 2016 I used the same cars in the same conditions. I will show you one lap in every condition side by side with the both version of the game, F1 2016 and 17, and after I will show you some short full screen clips from them as well. We have a heavy rain and the light rain Belgium lap, a heavy rain Singapore lap and the light cloud and the heavy cloud weather lap from Japan. I don't want to talk too much so I stop here and I let you enjoy this graphical experience but I think that Codemasters have made a massive step forward with it from 2017 because this game look amazing. In my opinion it is brighter, more colorful, the reflections are just amazing as well. After you watch this video, feel free to write your opinion down in the comment section. And if you liked it, please hit that like button below as well. And subscribe. See you in the next one.
great effort there from Ferrari to take the victory today. Tell me, Ant, what was the key to this success? Well, keeping their tyre temperatures up in the tricky wet conditions was really important. There's not much grip out there at the best of times, and it's ten times worse if you're out there on cold tyres. So the way they kept the rubber in its proper operating window was a huge advantage today. So, here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands and they're out in force again today. It's dominant in the grandstands and they're out in force again today. It's Ferrari on the top step once more. Situated just 88 miles north of the equator, this three and a half mile circuit is hot, it's humid and is an incredible test for the drivers as they try to fight their cars around the bumps and in between the barriers. 23 corners take us twice over the bay to complete a single lap of this unique racetrack. The view is spectacular. miles north of the equator, this three and a half mile circuit is hot, it's humid and is an incredible test for the drivers as they try to fight their cars around the bumps and in between the barriers. 23 corners take us twice over the bay to complete a single lap of this unique racetrack. The view is spectacular, the heat is unbearable, the race should be incredible.